tune. Going live, I'm live. What we got here? Okay. Am I there? Yep. All right. <laughs> Can y'all see me now? Okay, I think I'm live now. Goodness gracious, were we really 10 minutes off? All right, did y'all hear anything I said at all? Somebody tell me. Say, yes, I heard you. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, no. Scott said, no. Nope. Yeah, didn't hear anything I said. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 10 minutes blabbing to myself. Oh, my goodness. Y'all didn't hear my foggy mountain breakdown on the spoons? Are you kidding me? Uh, I learned foggy mountain breakdown on the spoons, and no one heard it. <laughs> hey, um, welcome. Welcome to the live feed. Y'all hung on for me. Um, that's really great. All right, so we've got, y'all are still around. And somebody says there's too much echo. I don't know. But sorry, Timothy. We're going to uh, continue to work on things as we go here and monitor what we got. Uh, Daniel, if you ever need to put me on camera one here and, and monitor and look around. Uh, they say no echoes. Uh, other folks say no echoes. Okay. Hey, let's get going. Here's what we're going to do. Over the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes, you can hang with me. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to keep you too terribly long. I want to cover um, what we've got going on with spring camps. Um, and I want to answer some questions, too, because I've already seen a couple questions come through the chat. I can see that here. If you have questions about the camps, ask those. And then also, if... Um, um, Oh, and then, of course, what else are we going to do? We're going to announce the winner of the camp. So one of you Gold Peak members that submitted your email address on the forum, you're going to win a camp scholarship to your choice, either in St. Pete or Texas or Tennessee or where they keep the national championship trophy down there in Athens, Georgia. That's a new location this year. I'm so excited. We also have some new locations coming um, in the fall. So you'll want to stick around for that as well. All right. I don't even think I'm in focus here. I'm going to try to get me in focus. There we go, something like that. All right, let's go. Okay, sorry, I did not know that I wasn't live for the last 10 minutes. Uh, Y'all can laugh at me. All right, so I do have the winner drawn. I'm excited to get to that. And of course, I can't tell you that right now. You'll all hang up and go to bed. So I'm gonna just tell you about the camps. Hey, there are a lot of things that um, are different about the camps this year. Um, we're um, going to new places, as I said, and we're doing different kinds of formats as far as uh, length of time. Um, we're kind of messing around with that a little bit, doing some more offerings. Um, again, I want to um, get you to ask any questions in the chat here, and I will try to uh, get to those. We're going to start off the year down in St. Pete. And uh, Oh, one second, let me go ahead and, and answer this. There's several folks who are saying, what forum, what forum I didn't know where to post to. Uh, we sent out several emails saying if you're a Gold Pick member with, and it gave you a link to go over to a landing page to enter that email address. So if you're not on my email list, a lot of you have marked it as spam. Let's just be honest. Uh, <laughs> so if you're not on my email address, you've got to get on that because especially if you're a Gold Pick member because I'm always shooting out deals only to Gold Pick members. Um, I've got some really special ones coming this next week, by the way. Um, for you go pick members in the store. So keep an eye out on those emails because I've um, important stuff goes out there, including things about camps. We're starting the camps off in uh, March, uh, March 5th or 4th. It's the first Saturday in March. We're going down to St. Pete, Florida. This will be our third year to be there at Doc Feaster's house and Miss Caroline's house. It's a beautiful place. It's right by the beach. Of course, St. Pete, Tampa Bay Airport, you fly in. And uh, it's a one day camp. It starts at nine in the morning. It goes all the way through the day and into the night if you want to stay in jam late. Technically, it wraps up around 9 p.m. It's a big, long day, full of fun, action-packed. Um, I'm going to be teaching guitar. Penny's going to be on mandolin. Katie's going to be on banjo, but we're also going to do some switching through the day because I want to make sure and spend time with each camper that's there, no matter which instrument you're playing. That's a smaller camp because we don't have as much room there at Doc Feaster's house. It's a, it's a big, nice place, but it's um, just the way that it's laid out. We want to make sure that we're not over cramped there. Only eight spots per instrument. It's sold out the last two years. So if you want to come to St. Pete, you need to jump on that. Make sure and read up on the refund policies and the cancellation policies and all. 
um, just so that you're clear on that. A couple weeks later, we're going to the farm in Texas. And that's again, banjo, mandolin, guitar, same teaching configuration there. And that's a one day camp in Texas. Um, that's, um, you know, we've never done that before. We've had five, four or five camps there, multiple instruments, multiple days. But this time we're going to um, just do one day there. And what's interesting about that, you know, Kilgore, Texas, honestly, obviously, it's not, you know, it's not on in the major metroplex. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. However, there's a great little regional airport that's 15-minute drive from my farm. It's East Texas Regional. It's a 25-minute hop from DFW. Cheap flights in there on American Eagle. So I, I have quite a few people come in there from all over the country because they can just fly direct to DFW, jump on this little plane, Boom, be right there at my farm. There's an enterprise uh, rental place there in the airport. Grab a car, drive out to the farm. So even if you live in Minnesota, you can fly out on Friday night, be back home Sunday, and come hang out with me on the farm. So uh, you want to check that out. That's, that's going to be a lot of fun. And camps on the farm in Texas are just different from all the other camps um, because I that's where I grew up, and there's just something different about that. After that, in uh, April, we're coming back here to Nashville. Uh, to the cabin where I'm at right now and we're going to have a full camp here we're also going to have claw hammer banjo an intermediate claw hammer banjo class this time with Dave Diller so if you've been to a camp before Dave or if you've taken one of his um, one of his live lessons courses you're ready to jump into that upper beginner early intermediate claw hammer class we're also looking at adding fiddle and maybe even bass to that camp that's not going to go open tonight uh, banjo, manly guitar, and claw hammer will go live tonight. We'll update you on if we're opening other classes there as well. Um, I also want to say, you know, last uh, when we had the Nashville camp here in October, I sent out an email and I said, this could be the last Nashville camp here because I thought it might be because um, we tried to sell our house a couple months ago here in Nashville and um, we thought that we were. Um, but the Lord made it clear to us that we're not supposed to sell the house. So now we have the house and we're at least going to do another camp here in April. So, um, so that's exciting. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really stoked to be able to come back here uh, to where the Kevin camps all started in 2019. So that'll be a big, huge fun camp, three days, the whole thing, special guests. You know how the Nashville camps go and they always sell out too. So uh, you want to try to grab a spot. And then I'm very excited to tell you about our new location for this spring is in Athens, Georgia. That's where they keep the national championship trophy. I must admit that even as an Aggie, uh, those Bulldogs are, 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 are a formidable foe down there. And we're going to, um, yep, Darren, Dave Dillard's doing the intermediate claw hammer. Yep. Um, we're going down to the Keebles Farm, beautiful manicured horse farm. They're outside of Athens with a giant barn and all kinds of um, great facilities there. Bed and breakfast is nearby. Of course, you got Athens nearby as well. As well. And um, we're doing banjo, guitar, and mandolin there. It's, it's a two-day camp. Um, well, it's three days, but it has kind of an abbreviated schedule, and it's priced accordingly for that. Uh, Going to be great food. And the big thing about Athens is that uh, that camp will end like afternoon on Saturday. And then Saturday night, we're doing a big concert with the Purple Holes. Full band, I'm gonna play with them. We're gonna blow it out. And if you come to that camp, you get a ticket to that concert. So it's, you know, bring your family. There's tons of stuff to do around Athens. Beautiful place there. They're, they're welcome to come for the suppers. And then, um, and then everybody come out for the concert that Saturday night. As it's gonna, that's rain or shine. They have room there no matter what happens. So. We're just gonna have a beautiful time. Now, here's what I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk a little bit about camp prep. Um, again, if you have any questions, you need to ask those. Um, I see that Acoustic Idaho wants us to come out to Idaho. I would love to, and let me just mention that too. We're looking to expand these camps. We're, we're looking to go, now here's the thing. I could go and do these camps wherever. You know, you, I could rent a Holiday Inn or you know some kind of event center, but that's not, really what the camps are about. The camps aren't just about finding a place to be. The camps are about finding a place that feels like home and welcoming. So I prefer, I prefer to go to people's homes. Doesn't have to be, but I prefer to have that hospitable 
atmosphere. And what usually happens is somebody like the Keebles that have been to my Montana camps, um, or like a host that's gonna have me in Maryland this fall, he came to a Montana camp, he saw what camps were about, and they said, you know what? Our home could facilitate one of these camps. I would love to do that. And um, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to partner with people that get the mission because yeah, we're, we're teaching music, but it's more than that. It's like, it's a family thing. You know, it's a fellowship, a community thing. And it's, it's not a sterile thing. It's not a Holiday Inn, you know, um, corporate meeting room type of thing. Um, so, um, you know, it can be all outside in the yard. It's not like we're gonna invade your house, but you do have to have the space and facilities. So if you or someone you know um, would like to be a host and propose a spot for us to come, especially up in the north, because we haven't gotten up there a lot, let me know and we'll work that in. Again, we're going to back to Montana, to Big Fort Montana in July. Um, and then in the fall, we're planning to come to Maryland. More details on that later this, uh, this spring. Uh, then we'll come back to Nashville in the fall, go back to Texas in the fall. Uh, lots of fun things and hopefully more locations as we go. All right. So we got, gosh, almost 100 people in here watching. Uh, we're going to announce the winner of the Cabin Camp spot here in just a little bit. Um, before I do that, I just want to talk to you briefly about um, the, um, the skill levels because that's the question that I get the, uh, the most. And actually, I saw a comment on here a while ago. It was, when, it was actually before we went live, before 6 o'clock, and someone said, I don't remember who it was, but someone said, if I was better, I would come to the St. Pete camp. And I just want to say, maybe you're not, maybe you aren't really ready, but I would bet that you are. So when people ask me what stage they need to be to come to camps, what I say is that it's late beginner through intermediate. And I have some advanced, you know, early advanced uh, students that come that have a ball. But I would say for you to be able to get the most out of camp, you need to be able to know how to play along with the song, with the slow song. You know, so just the G, C, and D, E minor, A minor, you don't have to be able to solo. You don't have to be able to improvise, none of that. Um, but you do need to know, if I say play a G chord, you need to know what that is. Um, and then you just need to come with a um, with an appetite to learn. You know, it's it's uh, I can't possibly over the course of a camp teach to every individual skill level. That's why I kind of keep on small because it makes it a little easier. However, I, I promise you that it will be worth your while if you come, whether you're on the beginner spectrum or whether you're toward the advanced. And the, what I tell folks is, okay, look. If you're kind of more on the advanced, yes, we're going to cover some fundamental things that you already know. But how many times, y'all, in all kinds of things in life, how many times do you go back and you listen to something that's basic and fundamental and you hear it said a different way and you're like, oh, I never thought about it that way. Like, I never thought about um, that my hand should be there. I, I had a guy come down from Michigan last year to Texas and he's a great player. I would say, you know, getting into the advanced banjo stuff. And I was watching him trying to do this pull off. And I said, hey, hey, man, like move your thumb around like this so that you can get that pull off. And he did it. Boom. They just came alive. He goes, I've been trying for years to get that lick. And, and I'm, I said, see, this is we're talking about basic things here, but it's things that you've missed in your journey. So you're going to pick up things even on the basic end, and we're also going to meet you on the intermediate to advanced level, especially in the free time, because we have built in a lot of that free time where you can approach us instructors, and then we've got jams at night where if you want to push into it, we'll push into it with you as much as you want to go. If you're more on the beginner, maybe you've never, I get lots of campers that have never played with anybody, okay? Never played in a jam, never played in a band, They've been learning songs and working on it. That's the one, you know, those people need to be feel welcome to come, okay? And what I would say there is that you're just, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be filled to the brim and more. But even when we start to get into things that are maybe more advanced, there's still so much low-hanging fruit for you to get. And there's a bit of os learning osmosis that happens if you're just around people that are better than you. You know what I mean? You know, you know that if you're around people that are better than you, they pick you up. You don't drag them down, they pick you up. So 
if you want to be challenged, not, not embarrassed, not put on the spot, uh, not pointed at, but if you want to be challenged and you've just started your instrument, you can play some chords, come on to a camp. Come, especially the one-day camps. I mean, but it really doesn't matter if it's one-day or three-day camp as regarding the skill level. We're going to do our best to, um, to meet everyone where they're at and take them along for the weekend. And you can just read through these comments here. You can read what James Tucker just wrote. These camps are great for anyone. He's been to about 42 camps, and I've only had 33. How's it? Somehow he's been to more camps than I've even had. But he also lives right through the woods for me. But he's right. You, um, these camps are for everyone. You need to have been playing for, you know, be able to play some basic chords. If I look, you know, if you don't know how to play a G, C, and D, then you're, you know, you're not going to be able to sit around and, and play with this. Um, there's old Greg Grubbs. Oh, man, one of my favorite fellers. Greg, Greg I hope that you come back in the spring. I would love to, love to see you. Okay. What else, do we have something else yeah, to do? Oh yeah, that's right. We have to announce announce the Cabin Camp winner. You don't have to be present to win. We will contact the winner, and if for some reason um, we don't hear back from the winner, we will choose someone else and um, keep going down the line. Uh, but a gold pick member, we did uh, we randomly drew it here in just um, here just about an hour ago. Alicia did that for me. Uh, we had I think three hundred and nine. Yeah. people uh, enter into the winning so that's pretty good odds a lot better than the than the local lottery I'll tell you that um, all right let's see who we got here okay and the winner is mr. George Sangstock from st. Mary's Georgia um, George, congratulations, man. St. Mary's, Georgia. You're a, uh, Alicia says you're a lifetime gold pick member. You didn't have to be a lifetime to enter or to win. He just happens to be a lifetime member. And uh, he's also, we looked up, he's uh, also ordered from the store several times over the years. So thank you for that, George. Uh, that didn't make you any more qualified to, to win there. It was a random drawing from all my gold pick members. But George, you live in St. Mary's. If I'm not mistaken, that's down there along the coast maybe near Savannah, um, so you're probably equidistant from St. Pete Camp or Athens, or maybe you want to hop on a plane and come to Nashville or Texas. doesn't matter to me. But whichever one you want to come to, I will pay uh, your tuition for the camp. All you got to do is get there, buddy, and then it's on me. Okay, so congratulations uh, to George. We'll go, we're going to give away some more camp spots as the year goes on just because I, um, I want to just start giving back more and more and more to my gold pick members. Y'all are the gold pick members are the, the reason why I get to do what I do. And y'all are the ones that keep me going, not only because you support me financially, but just you support me emotionally and spiritually. A lot of y'all pray for me. Thank you for doing that. I'm serious. Because I get those emails all the time. Hey man, I'm just, I'm praying for it. Well, thank you because um, it's, it's a big job sometimes and, and I get discouraged too at times and overloaded and uh, even with the great team that I have. So just, I just can't tell you Gold Pick members enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially over this last year. It has been a um, more of a difficult year this year in a lot of ways. You know, a lot of uncertainty. And um, just things going this way and, and that. And uh, not a lot of confidence out there right now. Um, you know, a lot of you know where to find your real confidence and where to find your, your real peace. Um, it's, it's not in all the things around us every day, but you know, while you're going through this crazy life, um, you've supported me and that just means a whole lot to me and, and my family. So I just want to give a very, very sin sincere thank you to, to all you Go Pick members. And, um, I can't wait to meet more of you next year. And, uh, <laughs> Greg says, if you fish, a banjo bin hat is very lucky. That's true. You know, Greg lives on the East Coast there in Florida, and he's a fishing son of a gun, and he's sent me pictures of all kinds of big old hosses that he drags in, and he's got his banjo bin cap on. So uh, thank you, Greg, for that. And uh, you're going to take me fishing one day, I think. And I think he even has a, one of those old Gibson banjos they promised to give me uh, one day, and that's just so nice of him. To, to promise me that and, and not give it to Russ Carson and 
other guys that want it, but to give it to a banjo band instead. All right. Hey, I love y'all. And um, somebody says guitar, beginner, immediate, very little experience jamming. Perfect for you to come to camp. Absolutely perfect. And thank you, Stidham family, for uh, subscribing on YouTube and all your likes there. Um, really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're going to get in a fight over that old Gibson, Gibson banjo. Hey, so the uh, camp spots open up in 30 minutes. Um, again, some of them are going to sell out pretty quick. Uh, the St. Pete classes are pretty small. The Texas class is just a one day. It's going to be really popular this year. Nashville, coming back to that, only one spring camp in Nashville. Um, and so I, I think that one's going to be going to do really well too. The new one in Athens, there is a ton of pick, pickers down there in, around Athens. Uh, so Mike Harrison is down there and just a big community down there. Scott says, are they on the store or the event webpage? I didn't even say that. Go to banjobinevents.com. Banjo Bin Events, and there's all the campus. And then they're going to go live at 7 p.m. Central. So here in about 30 minutes, 28 minutes, they're going to go live. And then they'll show up on the camp page, or we'll have links to them there on the BanjoBinEvents.com page. couple more things. Stenham Family Gospel. This is for y'all and for others. Um, I have Christmas specials in the store lasting through this weekend. They're bundles. And if you're a Gold Pick member, you're going to get some extra special emails with some extra deals for me. Um, and then I've got some stockings. You can buy a whole stocking for banjo, mandolin, or guitar, different price ranges. You actually save money on all those good items grouped together. Um, but then starting next Monday, I'm doing some membership deals again. So um, the way what we're going to do this year is we're going to offer store gift cards with the membership. So if you buy a month membership, you get for $25, you actually get a $25 gift card. It's a no-brainer. If you buy an annual membership for $250, you get a $50 gift card. If you buy a lifetime membership for $550, $549, then you get a $100 gift card in the, um, for, to the general store. So it's a way to immediately get some gear back. And we're stocked to the brim over in the store. we got everything that you want. Thank you, Eli. Really appreciate you, but I've, I've really enjoyed getting to know so many of you. Gosh, I have so many great, great friends um, that have come out of camp. I'm just family, brothers and sisters. So I love y'all, and I will see y'all over on the site in about 25 minutes. And um, and I hope that you, I will tell them that, Jim. And I hope that you um, come see me and Penny and Katie, uh, the store guys where we're able to get everybody together. Sometimes on some of these camps, we're able to get the whole team together. Hope to do that in Nashville this year and uh, just have a big old time. Daniel, thank you for filming tonight. <laughs> and uh, y'all have a great night. Love you. Congratulations to George. And I'll see y'all in a cabin camp soon. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.